All right, so it is 30 days later and I have done 30 days of yoga, not consecutively. Um, I took a few breaks here and there if I wasn't feeling at the tip top or if I was just like not having a good day. That's one thing I learned about do, through doing yoga is you have to listen to your body. Um, and I don't know, obviously I don't notice a big physical difference. Um, the last few weeks I've been incorporating some body weight exercises and some like running slash walking in with my yoga practices. Um, and I feel strong. I definitely notice a difference between days when I do yoga and days when I don't. Um, on days when I don't, it gets to the end of the night and I just feel very like stiff. Like I feel like I need to stretch and like take some deep breaths. So some days recently, if I haven't done a full like 30 minute yoga practice and instead I did some other form of workout, I'll do a 10 minute like wind down yoga at the end of the night, which I think has been really helpful for me. Um, just getting in a good stretch and you know all the good deep breathing is really helpful for me especially because I've been struggling with anxiety and depression and I think yoga is such a good way of working out where you you come onto the mat and I try not to think about anything else I just think about the breath and the movement and Adrian does such a good job, especially in this breath yoga journey of making it about letting go of the distractions and things and just focusing on the yoga, which I think has been really good and really helpful. So my yoga journey is obviously different from a lot of other people's. I am not a very good. I'm not very flexible. I'm not very good at yoga, honestly. Um, but the process of the 30 day challenge starts with easy, basic moves. And as you go through the month, you build upon the basic moves, which I think is really helpful for anyone who's a beginner. And I'm still not a professional yogi. <laughs> um, but I find that the movements are easier and things that were hard for me at the beginning come easier. I'm not perfect and that's something that, that Adrian really teaches is that it's your practice and you can make it what you want to. So if there's a move that's more advanced, she gives you an option for a less advanced move which oftentimes I try and do the more advanced move for a little bit and if it's too much I'll do the less advanced or vice versa if I'm doing the less advanced one and then I'm like you know what I feel like I could do more I go into a deeper stretch or a deeper pose um so I highly recommend maybe not doing a 30-day challenge on yoga with Adrian, but definitely check out her channel um, any of her videos she's very knowledgeable and I think she does a great job of teaching beginners so if you're a beginner like me definitely check it out but um, yeah this video has been a long time in the making lots of days later um, a month later and I have pink hair now which is for a Valentine's Day video which is probably up before this um, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.